Hey everybody, this is Peter, and in this video segment we're going to create some administrative profiles on Checkpoint's firewall. So, um, you know, a lot of people, our guests, are becoming more security conscious nowadays, and the reason why we're going to create this is basically show you that Checkpoint supports a really granular uh, way of assigning permissions to the administrators that you actually create on your firewall in order to manage your firewall. So, first thing we do, let's go to Users and Administrators tab. Right click on it, <coughs> excuse me, on administrators and create a new administrator. Now, within here, you can see we're going to create a administrator called Full Access Admin. And you'll see in the drop down, we currently don't have any permissions profiles for this specific admin. Okay, so we'll go in, click new. We'll call this guy Full Access Admin or Full Access. We'll go to permissions. Now, this is the this is the screen that I want you to pay close attention to. Here, you can obviously say read write with manage administrator permission. So basically, do whatever you want. Um, read only for everything, or you can customize basically what you want them to have read write read write access to or read only access to. Now, the cool thing about that is basically, for example, in many environments you might have an IDS guy that really needs to get to the firewall logs, but he doesn't have to actually have um, any rights or permissions to see the rules in the firewall because he wouldn't be making changes to it. So that's one specific scenario that you might want to have uh, specific uh, specific guys or specific people in, the, in your environment with specific rules. Another one may be um, you have you know, a more junior guy that has to get onto the firewall, he's the guy that creates, or he's the person that creates uh, user accounts for VPN access, whether it's, uh, you know, tied into LDAP or whatever it may be, you can do that through here as well. So let's go, in this case, we're going to do a, a read-write with the Manage Administrators, and we're going to press OK for the specific admin. You can see here under the Personal tab, you can choose uh, an expiration date for this specific administrator. You can put them in a specific group and then you can specify the, the method of authentication they have to use to sign on to the firewall. In this case, we're going to use a checkpoint password, so essentially a password. We'll go ahead and type that in and press OK. Okay, and that's our full access admin. We're going to do the same thing now and create a read-only admin. And then after that, we'll log in and say, okay, look, um, you can, you know, with your full access admin, you you can basically make changes. With, you know, with your read-only admin, you can't. Everything's great at it. So, same process, create new profile, read only all is the actual default, so we'll go ahead and press OK. And we'll save that, and we'll actually put in the authentication again, which is going to be checkpoint password. Type in our password and press OK. Alright, so the first thing we can do here is actually You'll see here under our permissions profiles, we have, they're both, they both exist. We're going to go ahead and close Smart Dashboard and log on with our full access uh, admin profile. So we'll log in with the full dash access dash admin one, and then we'll type in our password. You'll see we can log on. And after this comes up, we'll just double click on a network object so that you can actually see um, editing is enabled. So basically, you've got full access to the actual uh, the interface. <coughs> All right, so let's go ahead and just click on something quickly. Um, this network object. So you can see you can make changes, right? No big deal. Nice and easy. Not too exciting. Let's go ahead and close Smart Dashboard again and log on with our read access admin one username. change that to read, we'll type in our password, and we'll press OK. Alright, we'll just click on the same network object, no big deal for this simple example. As soon as it feels like logging in, that is. Alright, so here we go. Let's click on that network object, and you'll see now, everything's great at it. Now, this was a simple example of, you know, you're either full access or you're read only, but like I said, you can customize, um, you know, by basically giving a specific administrator um, read only access to the to the rule base, um, and then giving them read write access or whatever access they need uh, within Smart View Tracker or the Log Viewer. So that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for coming out on this video, and uh, we'll see you next time.